Love is the greatest theme in the Bible. It was out of love that God created us and out of love that he gave up everything to save us and bring us back into relationship with him. Love is what sets us apart. The Bible says that by this will men know that we are his, Christ's, disciples, that we love one another. John 13 verses 34 to 35 says, A new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Notice that it does not say that we should try to love one another, or we should love one another in most cases. The Bible commands it. It is the greatest commandment. In fact, the Word of God says that everything we do without love is useless. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 1 to 3 says, If I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but do not have love, I have become a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and know all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. And if I give all my possessions to feed the poor, and if I surrender my body to be burned, but do not have love, it profits me nothing. We often judge people according to their giftings and become very impressed and drawn to them for these reasons. Things like preaching, miracles and gifts of prophecy really impress people. But in God's eyes, these things are not what is primarily profitable and important. Love driving those gifts is what is really important. Therefore, it is very important that we understand practically what love is and apply it in our lives. Love is a command, not a feeling. Who is it that we must love? Everyone that God has placed within our lives. Love is not a warm, fuzzy feeling that we have towards someone we get along well with, or if someone acts warm and friendly towards us and tells us what we want to hear. That doesn't mean they love us. In most cases, we have a very shallow understanding of love. Love can be honest and even tough at times. Proverbs 27 verse 6 says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. Love is what Jesus displayed on the cross. It requires hard work and sacrifice. The good thing is that God doesn't tell us to love without giving us a description of what love is in 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7. Let's read what it says. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonour others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. These verses give us the measure and standard of love. If we ever want to measure whether we are walking in love towards a person, then we can always use this scripture as a measure. Love serves others and it is not easily offended, which is something that is desperately needed within society and within the church. Today people are easily offended and easily insulted. Selfish people will struggle to love because they are always thinking about themselves and not others. Love is our testimony to the world. The greatest gospel we can preach to any person is to walk in love. The human heart responds to true, unselfish, sacrificial love. Many times we are mostly known for our giftings such as prophecy or faith or preaching or healing and miracles. Ask yourself the question, who are you without your gift? And does that person display love to those around them? Aim to become known as a person who walks in love. Thanks for listening to this segment from our J Revolution programme. During times of darkness, struggle and soul sickness, we can often question the meaning of life. 
To understand the true meaning of life, you first need to understand how you are made as a human being, as well as key spiritual foundations and principles you need to apply to your life. Find truth, peace and fulfillment and experience true transformation with the J Revolution program. You can access our full program online or sign up to an upcoming face-to-face -face or webinar on www.jrevolution.net forward slash program. Our program is totally free for anyone, anywhere to complete.